Welcome everybody, welcome to another video brought to you from the Tomb of Illumination. The Tomb of Illumination being our realm, it's illuminated by the sun. But uh, we are a fraction of the earthly system, we are of the earth, so we have to illuminate, illuminate ourselves. And this is a spiritual event that every man must go through to leave this, basically this matrix we're in. You have to illuminate yourself, which is by a celestial alignment. And this is the whole story of religion, where they, you become the son of man, the sun light, the light within man, illuminated. And it's the meaning to life. You have to do it before you die, physically die. Otherwise, it's of no benefit to you. You will die, reincarnate, and have to try again in another form. And you might have to go through the whole animal kingdom before you come back again. Suffer as animals, <laughs> you know, before you get back to having another go. So you've got to wake up. So this video is about all those people who think the Bible's a joke. I'm about to explain something that's going to blow your mind. It's a world first. Normally I put stuff on my Patreon, but I've explained things in the past and I've noticed that some people are... Um, are claiming they they are the ones that uh, first initiated this sort of thing or certain things I'm not going to mention what it would be quite obvious <laughs> what I mean if you've been following me okay it's about the stars so to all you atheists out there you're about to be made no, I won't say the word I won't say the word F double O L E D uh, and all those who think they can interpret the Bible, they can't interpret the Bible. Nobody can interpret the Bible. Okay, take it from me, okay? So, I've just done a video on Genesis 4.24 about Abel and Cain. And tried to explain why Abel and Cain are the one man, one person, in the dual system. Because when they've moved into this wo physical world, we've come into the physical world as a duality. And Abel and Cain represent the, the brothers as in your two selves, your spiritual nature and your physical nature. In the physical world we live within the daylight, it, when you're asleep, you're basically on the other side. That's where your soul is, on the other side. Our job is to raise our soul, Kundalini, reach this higher level of consciousness to, to be illuminated, become the son of man. It's the whole meaning to life. Everybody has to go through it before he can leave this matrix and go on to the next level or become godlike. Come and go as you please. Not come, not be dumped in this world as a baby and have to go through all the BS again. Listen to all the BS. Believe all the BS. Be a drongo. Most people go through life as a drongo. Die believing all the bullshit. Now once you wake up, you know all the bullshit. You know, ship from clay. So I'm going to explain something that's in the Bible quite clearly. Okay. We're going to go over the Abel and Cain story a little bit more. About um, how they mention Cain was avenged sevenfold. I've gone over the fact that about the fold, the overlay. It's all celestial. So you've got to consider the two hemispheres as a duality. And the season contracts and expands over the year. Contracts into the north, comes out to the south. Tra contracts into the north, goes out to the south. You see it in the sun's dilemma. Well, like I say, nothing's physical. So the whole southern realm doesn't fully overlay. Comes right in, shrinks in, expands out. Everything. I've declared in other videos that man expands as he moves south as he goes out to the southern hemisphere or anywhere south from the center north arctic he's expanding with everything so it's all relative to him he doesn't know things are expanding he's just walking in expanding as everything else is expanding around him it's all relative to the observer this is where einstein all his cronies got the phrase from they know all, they know the truth they're hiding it from everybody so you've got to understand the whole southern hemisphere contracts back within the north, back out. 
okay it's a bit tricky to understand but you've just got to realize we're not physical so if the whole southern hemisphere stars come up and overlay that um, northern stars then the whole realm must move in because as above so below those stars are basically the stamp that prints the earth as above so below. it's like this it's come apart like this so if that moves in that can't stay out there this rotation moves in as it moves around the center northern hemisphere it comes in winds in and winds out again so back to this Abel and Cain so he finds his illumination he gains his spiritual awakening the whole Jesus story they're all just different versions of the Jesus story he's come in by sevenfold meaning your seven chakras your, your kundalini he's raised the snake played the right tune got the right frequency and raised the snake the kundalini raised the snake up to the top like the jewel snakes up the totem pole or the uh what's the other thing caduceus caduce caduceus caduceus <laughs> um so he's been he's found his wife again that says basically he says he's found his wife again and he has a son no he's found his lost lilith this feminine aspect he lost as he entered the dual world which unites him as one male and female because men male is x and y chromosome i know you might have seen the earlier video bear with me that's what makes man whole again a singularity in, in this realm it's all spiritual mental and it does change your dna this is why we're not supposed to eat red meat after that because that red blood affects your blood and you will lose your what's coming when you die when your body carks it this is another long story people don't understand this thing and they probably think i'm full of bs but you know keep an open mind and just wait till the end so he's he's been illuminated through his seven he's killed off abel his dumb self the original and bearing in mind that they say came as firstborn so he represents the firstborn you know first before he came into the dual world you could say it comes Abel, but bring bring Cain back again so Cain gets illuminated reborn becomes the son of man and and then has his son called Seth he basically becomes the Seth okay so you can see it's a trinity they're all one okay so now he's singularity he's Seth now so he was avenged sevenfold and then it goes on to say um then L lamech however you pronounce it he will be seven seventy plus sevenfold okay because it's a spiritual it's a spiritual side event so we've, i've sort of explained the physical side of man what he does and goes through then you've got to think of the spiritual sense that he will be protected but it's all concerning um when and all that it's a, it's a divine seasonal period when all this sort of thing happens so it's all about degrees and the overlaying of the hemispheres okay it's a bit tricky to explain i know and i'm not the best guy for explaining this sort of thing but i'm the only guy who knows it so i have to don't i <laughs> so You've got to understand Earth's a three to two ratio, two three, for a starter. But it, you don't have to focus on that in this video, though. So the Southern Hemisphere is separated by the tropical or celestial gap, and over the year, this Southern Hemisphere moves all the way up to there. This is why we get the sun circling the Arctic for so many weeks, and when it recedes back and separates on the 8th, 6th, 17th of October as a phase shift and the sun pops into the southern hemisphere it leaves the south it pops into the south 
but it's reflected there's a there's illumination there's ref, a lot of reflection going on through the concave atmosphere crystalline structure you could say it's another long story but keep an open mind the sun pops into the southern hemisphere and this is why we get the sun going around antarctica for so many days i've, I've explained this in an earlier video it's lateral and as the season changes starts going back up north it starts becoming vertical again but this after the 17th of October is when the sun, the phase shift, pops into the southern hemisphere. Okay? Otherwise, it's later on in the year when it's June solstice, it's up here. It's in the northern hemisphere. But you can consider the sun as being in these overlays, but once it's separated, it pops into the southern hemisphere when it's separated here. Okay? Now... In the story, it's, it's seven, 70 and sevenfold. So you've got to understand, when the overlay is right up here, it's 77 days. So you've got your 70 and your 7. So from the 21st of June to the 6th of September, because this is what all the whole divine story is all about, it's the seven, sixth day of creation, it happens on the 6th of September. That day, that spot right there, is the spot in the Physicopiscus. Now, I'm not going to bring this 30 degrees in because I've got that on my mind at the moment, but it's to do with the, um, the Great Sphinx and the Great Pyramid of Cairo. We know Cairo is 30, 30 degrees north. This spot here. Eye of Ra, whatever you want to call it, the Physica Piscus, where the moon's involved, because it's to do with the, you can go to my Patreon for more information, I won't reveal everything. So you go there to that sixth day of September, there it is. So that's, that's one mentioned in the Bible, that's, okay, understanding that? Now the other story is, from this day, 6th of September, 40 days and 40 nights takes you to the separation the separated fields to say it's north and that's south disregard that because this is this is actually a slice of the whole the whole earth model a cross section but we'll just use it as a, a north and a south just don't worry about the tropical gap because that'll be the tropical gap in here so when it's separated that that there is the 17th of october and as I've mentioned earlier, that represents the uh, phoenix rising. Okay, because now it's, a dual, it's split off, it's dual. That's why we get the phoenix, a two-headed bird. Rising up through the ashes, which is to do with the spiritual rebirth. Out of the Milky Way is the flame, fire, out of fire. You've gone through the fire to be raised up. A lot of people understand this and a lot of people won't. But if you're trying to, if you want to understand all the Bible, all religion with the flat earth system, you have to understand it all. <laughs> so that's six days of September to, to the 17th of October, is 40 days and 40 nights. Then you then you go from the 17th of October out to the southern hemisphere is 66 days. Okay. So you've gone 77 days. The 40 days, the 66 days, and then you've got to return back up again. So you go 66 again to get back up, 40 again, and 77 again, you come to 366 days. Well, it's only a day out, but you soon get rid of that when you consider a couple of things here, like when the sun comes out the southern hemisphere, it does a wheelie and starts spinning back again. You could reduce it down to 65 days or whatever. But it's only a day, so it could be like a fraction here and a fraction there to make up that day. I mean, how many days is it? 365 points, so many days is there? Didn't check on that. But there, this is the world first, you guys. Understanding certain parts of the Bible, I can interpret most of it, break it all down if I really wanted to. So... 
you recently you've learned what the phoenix rising is i know other channels talk of it and give you the big long drawn out common man version which is more make-believe because it's not reality this is the true version true version the ecliptic plane flexing of the ecliptic plane i've shown all that we've talked about the sun's and the lemma look and now over here what have we got the measure of man you're getting you're getting a bit more information here the measure of man is 66 degrees plus six six day 600 as in the hundreds columns three columns three score as in three of three sixes and six being number six we've gone over three times here 600 three of them three digits three score three of and six number six 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 the measure of man this is the overlay 66 degrees and they talk about the sixth day the sixth day of creation so 66 de degrees the man comes from the south it's all about the south it's all about the new kingdom. The southern hemisphere is the new kingdom, okay? That gap is the middle kingdom. That's the new, the old kingdom. All this, this is all first. People just don't understand this stuff. Don't know it. All your theologians, all your priests, fathers, none of them know anything. Vatican might know it, but they're keeping it a secret. They're not letting everyone know. It's all about control, mind control. You pay them a lot of money to listen to their bullshit. You pay me nothing and look what you get okay 6th of September to the 23rd of September equinox 17 days 17 days is mentioned a lot in the Bible one one in uh, ancient Egyptian stories Akhenaten ruled for 17 days but it's it, years it says but days most times I mention years it's days so, Akhenaten, we could, I've done videos on Akhenaten. Um, so, six to the equinox, why is he ruling from there to there? Um, you know, all these words like rule, like a straight line. You know, you, you break them all down. Well, what do they actually mean? It's all coded. I don't know if you can see that. Here's the equinox right in there. Um, well, that's another story too, because the equinox is not actually the equinox. Equinox, okay? Equinox means equal night. It's not equal day and night. The equinox is this divine period around the sixth. With it's within that week where everything is equal at night. It's it's where the sun and the moon are all level equinox it's it's when the sun and moon go around level there's no tilting in the ecliptic plane no seasonal change none of this movement okay it's, it's, it's just, it just freezes there for uh at least three days anyway but it's, there's five holy days i'm thinking it's just the five holy days it's going around without declination okay and it's all at this point here of the sun's crossover okay so stay 66 days out into the southern hemisphere and 66 days back it comes all the way out here from the 17th of october 66 degrees 66 days all the way back it's all degrees and days okay the sun is in the southern hemisphere for 131 days. So you knock the day off there. That brings it to 365. Um, so another 24 days from... So it's 24 days from the equinox, the one we know of, the uh, 23rd of September, to the, to the uh, Phoenix Rising. Is 24 days all these numbers eh 12 24 
360. It's only 365 because of those five holy days where the sun is stationary. It doesn't move in declination. Otherwise, it's the 300. It's all about 360 degrees cycle, which is the one. Everything must come back to the one, which is one full rotation. Which is, I mentioned the one in physics, but it's 360 degrees. Okay. Now. Understand this, get in your head, go over it a few times, and then go and compare to the compare the bullshit they give you on the globe theory about the sun, you know, the earth spinning around and spinning around the sun and they're all flying off in all directions. <laughs> Yet everything comes back to the exact same position. The stars move around our earth and end up in the exact same place every day, every night, except not time wise, because the the sun keeps the time and the sun is moving quicker which sets everything well the long story but check out my other videos the sun is quicker than the stars that's why the stars are turning up earlier to, to fill that void behind the sun as the sun raced ahead so the stars come in behind and turn up three minutes 56 minutes 3.56 minutes earlier the next night and over one year the sun has raced ahead, nearly lapsed the stars, but not quite. It didn't quite make it by one degrees. Okay? Was it one degrees? Oh, and let's not go there. Okay, I've got that on my mind. Uh, okay. So share this, guys. And if you like this sort of thing, you just want to shoot over to my Patreon. Go into Saints. I'm not revealing everything in the, to the public. This, you know, you don't, you don't, you just don't go and blab all this divine stuff to people who are not interested, you know. This is what life's all about. You've got to go through your stages. You've got to go on your journey before you get to, to, to find reality. Otherwise, you might just um, become like these freak masons. You've somehow stolen or come in through the back door and used it for evil. Haven't they? When you understand all this, you understand the whole uh, physics of the earth, power, free power, how to create energy through magnetism. You know, you start understanding um, that dude, what's his name? Nigel Cheese. You know, Nigel Cheese knew how the magnetic field worked of earth before I did. Oh. Well, he's a lot older than me. Been around for a while. Maybe he's not a lot older than me. But I think he was onto it way, way before I started advertising it, that the magnetic field doesn't cross the tropics. He knows that. He, he, he talks about his ball, but he, he went and drew, he went and drew the, tr the magnetic fields coming into the sides of the tropics, not crossing over your ball. Can't cross over your ball. It's another thing. You should have a card, carry a card around so you can make fools of these idiots who think they live on a spinning ball. And one of them should be the magnetic field doesn't cross the tropics, so how does the field get from the your so-called South Pole to the North Pole if it doesn't cross the tropics? And then, then your second one would be, you know, the dip compass points into both Arctics, doesn't it? Well, if it points into both Arctics, how can you have a field coming out of one and going in the other when both fields are the same? The dip compass points in. Then you go on to explain, well, if they're both the same, there must be both North Poles. One's an Arctic, one's an anti-Arctic. Strong force, weak force. Well, if they're both North Poles, where's the South Pole? Hmm, how about both sides of the tropics? And then you go on, discuss the fact there's two, there's two celestial cycles. One's inverted to the other, inside out. Earth comes inside out, that's what it does over the year. Goes like this, goes back in, into the northern hemisphere, solstice, comes out, look, the sun, the sun, thumb goes out to the south, moves around the south, it's all the way around the south, then goes back in again. Lots of things. Put them on a folder, you bring it out in any discussion. Make fools of people. I'm not allowed to call them fools, I'm not allowed to use that word. Uh, okay, there you go, there you have it. 
understanding. 77-fold the Abel and Cain story. Understanding all the degrees. Contraction and expansion for the seasonal change. The sun does two things. It goes around every day like this. But it's winding out. And then winds back up and in. Up and in for the northern solstice. Down and out for the southern solstice. Okay. Now don't forget uh, my site. Tomb of Illumination. If just speak into the phone. It will take you straight to that Patreon page. Patreon. Tomb of Illumination. Thanks for watching.